Hi Pisces. Welcome to your quantum reading. This is for Pisces Sun Moon Rising. Welcome to my cross watchers. Cross watcher, you could be dealing with a Pisces. A message could be for you. Feel free to take it however it resonates with you and your situation. Keep in mind, these are general and timeless readings. Everything you need to access is down below in my description box, which would be my website link and Instagram handle. All that good stuff is located down below. And as always, make sure that you never give your power away over to tarot. Okay, you have full power and control over your own life, your own choices and decisions. We just try to look for patterns and things that could help you work through your obstacles and challenges that you're facing on a day-to-day -day basis. So that's what we do this for. Um, just take whatever resonates with you and leave the rest for someone else that it might resonate more for. Okay, so yeah, with that being said, thank you guys so much for liking, subscribing. Thank you for all the ways you've just been here and supported the channel. I'm so grateful you guys are here. You're welcome here. And I think that's good. Yeah, let's kind of go from there. Wow, actually this kind of all ties in together because these two cards, it feels almost like to me that there's this connection going on between you. You're already in this for those feminines and even masculines, you know, don't get caught up by the gender. So this can either be talking about a feminine you're dealing with if you're a masculine, but for those of my Pisces that are females, you could be getting more confidence. You know, there's a transformation that's underway and you have the snake here, which is almost like, I made a post about this over on my Instagram where I was talking about how it's like, what was it? Um, like you have cellular regeneration and that's like this snake shedding a layer of its skin and even the lotus. So for a while you could have felt, you couldn't see things because you know how with a lotus, like for a while you're covered around dirt, but you're mainly just integrating a lot of energy. Like maybe this is about self-care or things like that, that we're going into the development of the next phase of your life. So it's kind of like you were transforming because there's you that's kind of in this preparation phase before a next chapter of your life is beginning. And it's all kind of like, it's all connected. And part of the reason I think that this is happening, if you guys recently were going in through any kind of like old blueprint kind of patterns of scapegoat stuff and feeling ostracized or any kind of stuff around that it feels like there's been some progress there you might even feel if you have had recent rejections they just kind of roll off your back that's kind of how I interpret this is because there's been an there's been an increase or there's been something about your confidence. Like how fascinating that they both kind of came out like that. So those are connected. It's like a rejection and abandonment wound that it looks like to me that you've been focusing on taking care of. Like you've been putting it or it's saying to do that. If you continue to focus on putting energy into that particular thing, this could be about reparenting yourself. Because even if you guys weren't exactly orphaned and you just had a parent that had a pattern of abandoning themselves and you kind of observed that and you took on those patterns unconsciously it looks like you're now putting the focus back on yourself and that's why there's been an increase in your energy wow yeah look even the ten of pentacles this is a huge thing okay so six of pentacles this is good six of swords there could have been a recent shift that you made to try to better your situation or maybe if there was an environment that you were in and you were recognizing that there were some <clears throat> communication issues or you were maybe dealing with like in a in an environment there was like a power struggle or someone that whatever the mind games were. It looks like you could have gone through a shift, like you moved yourself out of that environment. And now you could be shifting into this Six of Pentacles energy where you're 
like maybe moving into collaborations and there's an equal give and take and that's why it looks like it's leading to an increase if you haven't already had that you could be doing things right now maybe you're helping people out but we have the queen of cups reverse okay hold on so it feels like this just might be emotional moments Like your emotional sensitivities, you have the Eight of Pentacles reverse. Those feel interconnected, like your emotions. I'm going to, okay, we're going to talk about this, okay? Because, wow, this is somehow connected to your, that was weird how that popped up. We have the Queen of Pentacles in the reverse and it's in the blockage area. Okay, so that could have been why your emotions are a little bit kind of like maybe feeling off balance and we have the knight of swords reverse so that could have been something about we're still in the post shadow of mercury retrograde so there could still be some things going on with communications and then you have the two of pentacles again another pentacles card and then you have the six of cups in the reverse Honestly, what this feels like to me, oh wow, there's your, kind of your card, the moon in the reverse. All right. It feels like to me that you're aware that you're connected to a particular person right now. I don't think that you want to be, especially with this moon reverse. You could be feeling as though, like I'm getting there's a particular person in your environment that there's been this thing going on between the two of you there could also be mirroring you know and that could be a trippy thing for you to wrap your head around is that you're actually like experiencing weird things about your intuition especially if there's a lack of boundaries here between you and a particular person you could be realizing like maybe you're trying to put proper boundaries in place but honestly Pisces what this feels like to me is like there's a, another person that you're connected to it feels intuitively or if you were around this person or you had any kind of significant interaction with them it's like you you could have this tie to them and you're this queen of cups reverse it feels almost like if there's moments where you lose your boundaries because this is all about empathing and <clears throat> The negative side of empathing, you know how empaths have to do quite a few things to continue to keep their energy really high and their boundaries firm every single day. And those are kind of in the reverse. I'm kind of, I'm looking at these combinations that are all in the reverse. And it's, it looks like this particular person, you don't want to repeat the situation all over again. Or it's like, you know, you might have some negative memories or some painful memories about a particular person that you've dealt with. There's like this whole thing going on between Pisces and Capricorns. <clears throat> so, and Pluto is in Capricorn. So it's possible that you're dealing with maybe an earth sign. Maybe it's just someone like that in general. But this Queen of Cups energy reverse feels like if you get a little bit off balance in your emotions, maybe it's your emotional sensitivities and you could be still figuring out what works for you right now. Maybe it's environmental shifts or who you're connected with. <clears throat> you could still be figuring that out as you're moving through this process. Because it feels like you're you're following something to try to get to the other side. Which looks like some kind of upgrade in your life with the Ten of Pentacles here. But it's like this is where there's a little bit of a disconnect. Is maybe something about just having your hands on doing something. It's a skill or something like that would help you to move through the emotional part of what you're dealing with. Because I keep getting that. Like feeling emotional or if this is depressing moments or whatever is happening on this negative side of your emotions it feels like you've been doing quite a few things to try to counteract this this could be that you're working on a creative thing or a project these are projects or you're developing a particular skill I feel like yeah you'll want to continue to do that because it looks like it could 
maybe lead to an opportunity or it's going to lead to some kind of increase that's going to make you feel more stable in your reality. But yes, what was the other thing? Oh yeah, here was what I was going to tell you. So back to the boundaries thing. If you're having issues, you know how sometimes you don't want to be seen or, you know, if this person had come at you negatively and then this kind of temporarily decreased your, if it was confidence or it kind of like made you more hesitant to take actions the way that you normally do, that feels like what you're trying to get your power back from. And that empathing thing. So whenever you have your boundaries firm, whenever you are motivated and productive and you have like routines on balance, then you don't pick up on other people's things energetically is what I'm trying to get around to saying. Because honestly, Pisces, what this straight up feels like to me, you're energetically connected to someone else and you're just mirroring them. Like because of this person's lack of boundaries. And so you might need to work with your focus, work with your own boundary putting up, like putting up boundaries with yourself other people are going to do what they're going to do. And at a certain point, if you have put boundaries in place and people are still disrespecting them and completely disregarding them, then you have to just like let karma take its place from there. And trust me, it freaking does. It's super intense. I don't know why people think that they can continue to do things because it's like eventually it comes back around. But you could... Um, it almost feels like what you're experiencing emotionally is someone else. Like it's actually not your emotions or what you're, it's someone else's in your environment. This could be a person that's going through whatever it could, this, I don't, I don't have the most positive things on the compassionate side. Queen of Pentacles reverse can be someone who like has poverty trauma and or they're experiencing some kind of health issue and maybe projecting it a little bit because it looks like Six of Swords, you're trying to distance yourself from this particular person or some of you guys, you are at a distance. But you could be going in and trying to, like that's what feels like more of your focus is how you're trying to keep boundaries in place or it's connected to this thing you're developing. I wouldn't even so much put a lot of energy and attention into this because it feels almost like that this could be a combination of things with the Knight of Swords or Verse. I've been interpreting it in a multitude of ways. One of them is that it's made you become quiet. You know, Queen of Cups or Verse can be a little bit shy or reserved or introverted because you're, you have like all these emotions pent up, but you're like trying to you might not recognize them or exactly know what you're experiencing internally. So you might want to do maybe some journaling or going and spending time in nature and just like allowing yourself some kind of outlet of communication might be helpful. And then the other thing with the Knight of Swords reverse, especially with Mercury retrograde can be, and I think this is possibly a Piscean thing is like you go kind of piranha on people when something becomes like almost suppressed for too long and then it builds and it builds and then it turns into a supernova, I feel like that's kind of the Piscean way. Because you're like, you deal so much in the emotional realm, but it looks like you're still moving through a process right now and it's tied and connected to another person. So that's your blockage. Literally, Queen of Pentacles reverse is, it's like, See how this card is you almost like standing up for yourself. But then look what happens when you try to put a boundary up. Like this person has a rage reaction. And of course they do, Pisces. Like if you're getting drained emotionally and then you're like, you're recognizing in which direction it's coming from. And then you're like, okay, I'm going to put the boundary in place. Yes. Sometimes it's possible this person's going to have some kind of reaction because it's like, it's a reflection of a part of themselves that's not quite matured. And 
So I totally get if you've been hesitant or you've been kind of like pulling back because this can be scary. But, you know, I know that I have peace of mind when I know that I stand up for myself. And there's always something that you can do with deliberating about your communications, like the words that you want to say, because that's also very powerful. But I think if you go in with the right frame of mind and the right energy, you'll say and do it however you need to but that's mainly what feels like it's going on is you've you have a person that you know maybe even on an unconscious level that this person can be quite explosive or they're very like alpha dominant like they could have come at you in that way but you look like you could be increasing your confidence you know look at the fire look how both of them are kind of like connected here with this queen of cups reverse and then the queen archetype in general is something about feminine energy and your power and knowing that you are powerful don't let people convince you that you're not pisces because i know you have this soft side but it's not <laughs> all of who you are and sometimes what you can do is focus on another area of your life and developing that thing especially it's like a creative pursuit see all that red so it's like action taking and creativity and passions and things like that. Very action oriented. I think if you maybe work with another area, then maybe you'll see a development happen in your emotional state. Anyway, yeah, it looks very determined not to repeat the situation with this person. Yeah, let me dive into the extended... I'll see whatever else wants to come out about this. If you guys want to join me over there, feel free. Go down below. Click on the Vimeo link. See it over there. But Pisces, if this is where we leave things, sending you so much love. Wishing you all the very best. See you in the next reading. Take care.